Really quickly, I gotta give a shout out to my sponsor, SeatGeek. If you guys are planning on going to any games or events this year, just use the app SeatGeek. I know I'm trying to go to a few NFL games this year, so I'm definitely using it. SeatGeek is an app that puts tickets from all over the web in a single place, making the whole buying experience simple. They rate these deals on a scale of one to 100, with the higher the number, the better the deal. And if you use my promo code KTO, you will get $20 off your first purchase. So I'm gonna drop the link in the description. Honestly, you might as well just get the app just in case. You don't wanna lose out on cheap tickets. Around the turn of the century, in Deerfield, Florida, there was something unusual taking place. A young kid was dominating Pee Wee football, but for some reason, he just refused to tie his shoes. Kids would go for his shoes on tackles, and he'd come up to the huddle in just socks. His coach couldn't stand it at first, and neither could his parents. They'd tie wristbands around his shoes, and when that didn't work, they would try athletic tape. They even rolled his socks over his shoes. He was a marvel, and he wasn't even finished with the sixth grade. He was just different. Different is the perfect way to describe Denard Robinson, aka Shoelace. Coming out of high school, Denard Robinson was the definition of an athlete. Plenty of teams tried to recruit him to play receiver or corner, just purely based off his physical skills alone. In Florida, one of the best states for track, he was a medalist at state in the 100 meter running a 10.44, which is blazing for high school. And if you're wondering, yes, he did run that with his shoes untied. He ultimately committed to Michigan to play quarterback. And when his new QB coach Rod Smith heard about his 100 meter time without his shoes tied, he called it, quote, the damnedest thing I've ever seen. And he also added, anybody that runs that fast, I'm not going to tell him how to tie his shoes. This became such a phenomenon, it made its way onto the TV show Jeopardy. University of Michigan quarterback Denard Robinson, who runs a 10-4 100 meters, is known for never tying these. Kate. What are his shoes? Yeah, that's right. As a true freshman, Dernard was listed third on the depth chart in Michigan's 2009 preview. At this point, this was just kind of an odd story, something that would have been a sports novelty if his skill set couldn't translate. And early in the season, Michigan decided to try him out. This was his first career play. His nickname is Shoelace. And Quinn Kessinich will have more on that in a second. Fascinating story. Fumbles the snap, takes off. Broken plays are very dangerous for a kid like this. Look at that speed. See ya. Even with a sudden flash of excitement that boosted a tortured fan base, as this article puts it, he was a change of pace compliment to starter Tate Forcier. But before he could ever start, questions remained about his throwing ability. How about the bigger question here? What about his shoelaces? How could he possibly want to play with his shoes loose like that? ESPN Sports Science did a study that brings up some pretty intriguing points. First off, you tie your shoes for the stabilization of your foot inside the shoe. Without that, your foot slides around causing friction, which will lead to sores and blisters. And obviously, that would be very uncomfortable to constantly try and run, make cuts, and switch directions. But here's what's intriguing about what the sports science analysis said. Performed with untied shoelaces, which might actually give him an advantage. Without ever relying on laced up shoes for stabilization, Robinson has built up greater interior foot strength, which allows his feet to absorb more force when stopping. Like a barefoot runner, Robinson relies on his midfoot to make contact with the ground. Compared to a heel strike, this puts a larger area in contact with the ground, dispersing and reducing impact body weight forces by up to half, allowing Robinson to literally be lighter on his feet. Now, this brings up yet another question. Why wouldn't everyone do this? Well, it does increase the risk of ankle and knee injury, so there's that. Denard might just be an anomaly, based off his physical skills and just the way his feet are shaped. It would be pretty interesting to see some more scientific research put into this. 
Even with all of this said, he still had to prove that he could run a college offense. Going into his sophomore season, he got his chance. Denard Robinson throwing on the run and he hits round three on a slant and he's got no one in front of him but the goal post and he's into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. And he's going to run the ball to the right this time. He finds a little seat. 20, 25, there he goes. 30, 35, 40. He's in midfield and they'll never catch him. Denard Robinson, shoelaces flopping in the wind, goes all the way to the end zone. As Vincent Smith to his left, gets the snap, running left behind Vincent. Cuts it upfield and into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Denard Robinson with 27 seconds to go. Regains the lead for the Wolverines. And just like that, Denard was a Heisman frontrunner and became a huge story in college football. After Michigan had fallen into darkness and despair in 2007, entering his junior season, Shoelace was going to put Michigan football back on the map. Throughout their first 11 games, Michigan was rolling, but none of this mattered all that much because they had one goal on their hands, Ohio State-Michigan one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. A series that has featured some of the most iconic matchups of all time. But since 2004, Michigan had been beaten every single year. And this was a game that I was actually at. As a lifelong Buckeyes fan, at the age of 16, I had never even been to an Ohio State game until that year. And I just wanted to witness Ohio State beat up on Michigan myself. There's a blitz shown off the corner by Roby. He's coming. Michigan's running. Denard keeping it around the corner outside. 40, 35. There he goes. Down the sideline. Shoelace is loose and into the end zone. The right hash. Denard with split backs. Makes the hand up. Runs up yeah. the middle and he's into the end zone for a Michigan touchdown. And turns. Takes to Tucson. Rolls right. Lobs it in the end zone. Wide open. The senior from Ohio. Kevin Coger pulls it in for a touchdown. He's got the snap. Four-man rush. Miller looks. He fires. It's tipped in the air. That intercepted by Courtney Avery out of Mansfield, Ohio. And the Wolverines will end 2,926 days of frustration by beating Ohio State here in the big house, 40 to 34. Denard had done it. He beat Ohio State, and after this game, Michigan has not beat them since. Although Shoelace didn't dominate the following game, he did lead Michigan to a victory over Virginia Tech in the Sugar Bowl. He did get his chance to play in the NFL, and for a quarterback who was forced to transition, he did pretty decent for a period of time for the Jaguars. But now, he is currently not on an NFL roster. But don't let this take away from what this man has accomplished. He was electric and helped make college football exciting for years, which earned him the cover of the last great football game ever made. EA, you guys gotta bring this back. He set multiple school, Big Ten, and even NCAA records. He beat Ohio State, the only Michigan quarterback to do so since 2003. And lastly, Shoelace is the only Michigan quarterback to win a major BCS Bowl since 1999. And get this, the last quarterback to do this for Michigan was this guy. 